Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and it's dark. Somebody hit the light. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. We're gonna branch away from 3D printing for a little bit and talk about a nerd product and do a little review. You ready? Go. If I'm being honest, and I'm being honest, I had a little fun with that intro. I shot it more than once, and blinking lights, they just, I can't stop. I can't stop. Do you ever find yourself on Amazon browsing through things that you didn't think you'd be browsing through and finding a ferocious deal on something awesome and then hitting the buy button and then forgetting about it? And then a few days later, a package shows up at your house and you open it up and you're like, yay, look at this thing that I completely forgot about until just now. Well, that happened to me with these. These are the Tautronic LED blinky lights. I was on Amazon. I saw these lights and it was, it was for a good deal. It was a really good deal. I think it was 25 bucks. I thought, I, I want some blinky lights for 25 bucks. So I, I, I pulled the trigger and I did it and I'm pretty happy with these. This is the box that mine came in. Knowing products like this, if you were to buy this same product, uh, it may not come in a box like this. I'm confident it'll come in a box like this, but just in case, be warned, it may not come in a box like this. The box itself is easy to open up. There's a, there's a flap here and it opens up like that. In the box is the manual on how to operate the lights. These are the lights themselves and this nice self-contained pinwheel of sorts. Back behind this cardboard of truth, you will find the power supply, the cable to control that plugs into the power supply and then the remote control. The lights themselves are super easy to take out of the box and plug in. First, you find an electrical outlet. You remove your Millennium Falcon because it's in the way, and then you plug in the cable. That's easy enough. The other end of that cable is gonna plug right here into this unit, and this is, uh, this is the IR controller. So this, this four-pronged little plug plugs in to the, to the lights themselves. This is the IR receiver because this remote control works on infrared, just like your VCR remote. VHS, man, but Beta, Betamax was so much better. And right there, that hole right there, that's where the power plugs in and gives the lights life. When plugging in the lights, you'll see that each side has an arrow and you wanna line up the arrows like so. Plugging in the power cable is as simple as doing this into that. After everything's plugged in, here are your lights all tangled up because apparently I suck at light and cable management. If you look at the end of the lights, there's another four prong plug and that's because you can add chains of lights. To operate these lights, all you need to do is make sure that this infrared receiver is visible to this remote and on the remote, you hit the on button and there they go. Look at those lights blink. Those are bright too. These are phenomenally bright. On the remote itself is another way to control the brightness and the speed at which it blinks. It also has, here, take a look. It also has all sorts of different buttons for color options, like blue, green, red, orange. Don't forget with your lights, you've got four different modes to play with. You've got flash, which is this. You've got strobe, that's strobe -y. You've got what's labeled as fade, and you'll notice that the colors fade into one another. Last but not least, you have something called smooth, and it's smooth. It's so smooth. But Joel, what are these lights good for? Ha, that's a fantastic question. The lights themselves have a, have a, a 3M sticky surface on the back, so you can stick them to different things. One use that I found particularly eventful is I wear it as a hat. What I'm holding in my hand here is roughly 20 feet of light and that's what came in the box. If I were to connect up the other box then I would have another 20 feet of light to add to this, giving me 40. And that's how math works. 
One of the things that I find particularly interesting is the ability to change the lighting configuration. Right here is a cut point. If you were to slice here with a knife or a sharp pair of scissors, you could then configure the lights in different arrangements like 90 degree angles or extenders where it doesn't light and there's a bunch of accessories for that available on Amazon. I'm pretty happy with these and uh, I don't know, maybe I'll go put them on the Christmas tree. Maybe not. Another interesting option with these lights is it actually has to do with 3D printing. If you need to get some extra light around your 3D printer and you don't know what to do, these have a self-sticking tape on the back and it's remote controlled and they adjust to different colors and different brightness settings. Why not put this around your 3D printer or in your maker space underneath the shelf to, to give uh, a nice bright light onto your workspace? It seems like a good idea. I'm pretty happy with this find on Amazon. For at the time it was $25 and I got quite a few lights. It works via remote control. You can split it up for different lighting configurations, plugs into the wall, doesn't use much power, and it provides hours of endless entertainment. If you're interested in getting yourself some of these lights, I've put a link to the lights down in the description. It's an Amazon affiliate link for me, meaning if you were to buy the lights or anything else at Amazon using that link, I would get a small kickback for referring you and it helps support the channel. I think if you were to buy these lights, Amazon would send me a dime and two pennies. That's 12 cents. Yeah, you guys, this was fun, but it's time to put the lights away. Hey, did you like this? Should I do more product reviews that aren't necessarily filament or printers themselves? If you, if you like this or you like the idea, give the, give the video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below letting me know if I did well on certain parts or not so well on others. Share this video if, if you think it might be useful for someone making a decision about some LED lights. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Well, that was fun. I appreciate you watching, and as always, high five.